Three wins in three different competitions, but could Manchester United do it on a wet and windy south coast in the Premier League against Bournemouth? The answer, Yanish, is no. What on earth went wrong as they lost 1-0? Yeah, I want to do exactly that. Look, I mean, this is a team with zero personality, right? You know, Russ, I'm thinking there's no way that if you're in that dressing room, Manchester United players think to themselves that we're good. There's no possibility. You look around and you say to yourself, yeah, we have one or two players that are decent, but I think deep down they know they don't have the quality, right? Because it's, it's deceptive the last three wins, although you say to yourself, especially after they beat Chelsea in the League Cup, right? You say, well, there's that momentum. You look at the schedule, right? And you say to yourself, well, it's a soft schedule. With this game even, with all due respect, right, to, to, to the Cherries. But I look at that, I look at that team and they started the weekend with the same record, right? Bournemouth and Manchester United. The only difference is that, that Bournemouth uh, paid, what, 60 million pounds this, this summer? And I think Manchester United spent 180 million pounds, right? So there is that. And it's important to talk about it because if we talk about this, this process or progress of Manchester United, it's not there. It's clearly not, clearly not there. Josh King, a player who used to be on Manchester United's books, uh, he was a free transfer for Bournemouth. He was given time and space to score the winning goal right on the stroke of half time. Mm -hmm. That defending and the, and the lack thereof, the lack of decision making, the lack of bravery, the lack of anyone taking a firm grip of it. I mean, they've paid 80 million for a centre half. They, they couldn't get near him or didn't want to get near him. Did, did you think he was an 80 million uh, pound player? No chance. No chance. Well, you know, you can say that not many, but Van Dijk, right? We questioned him at 75 million pounds, but he's delivered. I didn't think he was 70, 75 million pounds, but it's down to the player to prove us wrong. And he has. Now, so far, I don't think he has. But the bigger problem for me is that, do you think, as I said, when they sit in that dressing room and look around and say, are we the sort of team that's going to challenge even top four? There's no way they think that. The bigger problem is that if I look at that, if I'm a Manchester United player, I'm going to say, is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer the kind of manager that's going to get us there? Because clearly they would have, t they would have taken Eddie Howe eyes closed. I would have easily, right? We talk about what he's done on the South Coast so far, which is wonderful. We often ask questions, why hasn't he been given a chance at a top club? Now I look what he's done, money or not, look at the way that the Bournemouth play. United are just waiting, United fans are waiting for that sort of, you know, attacking minded play. With, very, with less resources, this team in the second half played United off the pitch. So Manchester United, what can they do about this dip in form? Is it going to be just a patchy, inconsistent season or are they going to take the ascendancy, make a change managerially, the risks that come with that? How long can they go on petering around like this? Well, not, not very long. I was going to start with, you know, it says I've ran, we've ran out of negative things to say. And here we are. I don't want to be negative about anything, right? I want to be positive. The only positive I can, uh, thing I can say that I don't think United are going to, going to go down. But you know what I mean? And, and, you know, I'm being spontaneous. I don't want to be dramatic here, but that's the case. I think you're going to see exactly what we're seeing right now, even if Pogba gets back and Luke Shaw. I look at the bench today, and were you confident with that bench? I mean, you know, you, you want to say, well, Lingard was there, Mata's there. Then, you know, yeah, those are names, but those are not great players. And certainly didn't change the game, that's for sure. Okay, so the platform that was built in October quickly diminishes. They feel deflated after a difficult game, difficult conditions, but it was Eddie Howe's Bournemouth that certainly managed them much the better and deserved their 1-0 win. It could have been more in the second half as well. Manchester United off to their worst start in a league season since Sir Alex Ferguson's very first season in charge back in 1986. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.